I just want to do a quick update on my vinyl collection. So first of all, we've got Raven wiped out. Um, this is a blind buy. I've known of Raven like forever, and I had to listen to them, so I figured I'd go with wiped out. I've heard lots of good things about it, and yeah, it was a killer album. After that, we got Saxon Crusader, another blind buy. Uh, this is an original pressing. Actually, both of these are original pressings. Um, I hear this one's actually bad, but I thought it was okay. Um, it's decent Saxon. Um, I, I actually haven't listened to a whole lot of Saxon. I've listened to, like, their first... Well, I've listened to very uh, sorted mix, so I think it's fine. And here's a big one, Overkill Horoscope. This is one of the recent reissues, but... This is never reissued, so I had to snag one. And this um, this and one other is going to complete my Overkill vinyl collection. At least the ones I really want. There's Horoscope and then the Years of Decay. Uh, I actually have both these on tape. And I got them before I ever had these on vinyl. And yeah, this is, uh, this is once again a reissue. Amazing album. Um... They're not my favorites. They're great, both great albums. Not my favorite. Under the Influence. That's my favorite. Then we've got Restless. Rock, we Rock the Nation. This is German, I believe. A German heavy metal band. Local Find. I've known them for a while. Another super obscure. It was like 30 bucks. So I figured the time is now to buy it. The same guy is selling Tokyo Blade. Self-titled for 50 bucks. But I don't think I'm going to buy that. Because it's like $15 on Discogs. <laughs> And then we got Candlemass, Epicus Timicus Metallicus. I've been wanting this one for so long. It was probably one of the first records I've ever wanted. And now, one or two years in the record collecting, I finally have it. It's just because it barely shows up anywhere. Demon's Gate, what a great song. And we've got Angel Witch, um, reissue. Gatefold, uh, cool, cool album. I was thinking of getting an original pressing, but I saw it in the store, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll just get it. I love this song. I mean, I love this album. The more I listen to it, the more I love it. Like, Gorgon, Atlantis, Angel Witch, Sweet Danger. I mean, it's just such a good album. Very underrated. Um, like, all these true metal guys, they, they don't really listen to that a whole lot. Um, unless you're in the actual, like... New with the British heavy metal scene that that's talked a lot, but like in the grand scheme of things, you don't hear it thrown around a whole much. Megadeth, Rust in Peace. So glad uh, my friend found this at a store, a record store that's like an hour drive away from here. He bought it for me. I traded him two Pink Floyd cassettes for it, so I think that was a deal well done. I mean, I'm so happy to have this because I I didn't I never thought I on this because it's such a rare record rest in peace is never reissued and here it is super dope and that's it that's all the new stuff there might be some more that i've forgotten but that's it for now